Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to create and install a subject alternative name certificate in Windows Server 2022. Before we start, let me show you something. In the last video, we have obtained a CSIN certificate from CSR file. We have also installed that certificate using IIS manager and the default website is configured to accept secure connections. Let's check that. Open Microsoft Edge web browser, type URL HTTPS colon double slash srt22-srvzero2.msftwebcast.com and hit enter key. Here srt22-srvzero2.msftwebcast.com is our web server's FQDN. At the moment, we are receiving warning message that your connection isn't private. Even if everything is correct, still we will receive an error about certificate. The error is certificate common name invalid. As Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome requires SSL certificates to use subject alternative name instead of the popular common name since version 58. And this is the reason why we are receiving this message. The message is common name invalid. To fix this, we have to generate a new CSR file from Windows with subject alternative name as SSL certificates generated from IIS manager do not contain a subject alternative name. So in this video, we will see how to create a CSR file using any Windows machine that is domain joined and subsequently use the request file to issue a certificate using the internal certification authority. Let's understand the test lab we will be using in this video. In this test lab, we have single domain active directory forest named msftwebcast.com. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller SRT22-DC01. Let's go to our CA server. This is our internal enterprise root certification authority server. Let's go to our web server VM. On this member server, we have installed IIS web service. And in the last video, we have installed CSIN certificate from CSR file on this server. The first step is to create a CSR file and to do that, you can use any domain joined Windows machine. Open run menu, type MMC and hit enter key. Click on file and select add or remove snap in. Select certificates and click on add. Choose computer account and click next. Click on finish and click on OK. Expand certificates, expand personal and click on certificates. Right click on certificates, all tasks, advanced operations and select create custom request. Click next. Select custom request, proceed without enrollment policy and click next. Click next. Expand details and click on properties. Please modify all applicable fields in the section as per your requirements. That starts with the name and description. Give a friendly name for the certificate and a description. Hit apply to save the changes. Access subject tab. Under subject name, click on drop down menu and select common name. Enter the value for the common name. After entering subject name details, click on apply. Next, under alternative name, enter the DNS names which you want to include in this certificate. Click on drop down list and select DNS. Enter the value for DNS. Let's start with www.msftwebcast.com. Click add. Enter web.msftwebcast.com. Click add. Enter mail.msftwebcast.com. You can add as much DNS names as you want in this certificate. Now click on apply. Go to extensions tab. Expand extended key usage. And add server authentication and client authentication. 
Server authentication will be enough for IIS. Click on apply. Now go to private key tab. Expand key options. Click on drop down menu and select 2048. So we are setting key size to 2048. You can change the key size as per your requirement. Next, tick make private key exportable. Expand select has algorithm. From the drop down menu, select as is here 256. This is going to be our hash algorithm. This is totally up to you that which option you want to set for the certificate properties. Modify the settings as per your requirements. Click on apply and OK. Click next to continue. Select a location to save the file. Let's save it on desktop with the name Sunsult. Click on save. Choose the file format as Base64 and click on Finish. The CSR file will be present on the desktop and can be used to request a code signing certificate. In the last video, we have used the command line tool named CertRack to obtain a CA sign certificate from CSR file. The same method can be used here as well. But this time, I want to show you the second method. We can use Active Directory Certificate Web Enrollment Service to obtain a CA signed certificate from internal CA. But first, we have to install that service on our CA server. Go back to our CA server. Open Server Manager Dashboard. Click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. Click Next. Click Next again. Click Next. Expand Active Directory Certificate Services. As we can see, Certification Authority Role Service is already installed. Select Certification Authority Web Enrollment. Click on Add Features to install required role services and features. Make sure Certification Authority Web Enrollment is checked. Click Next. Click Next until you reach the confirmation page. Click Install to start installing Active Directory Certification Authority Web Enrollment Service. Wait for the installation process to finish. Installation is completed. Now we need to complete the post installation configuration. Click on Configure Active Directory Certificate Services. Provide user credentials to configure EDCS rule services. We are using Domain Administrator account. So we have sufficient permissions to perform the task. Click Next. Select Certification Authority Web Enrollment Services and click Next. Click on Configure and wait for the configuration process to finish. Once done, click on Close. Click on Close again. Now our Certification Authority Web Enrollment Service is up and running. The Certification Authority Web Enrollment Service provides a set of web pages that allow users to perform certificate related tasks. For example, requesting and renewing certificates, retrieving CRLs, and enrolling for smart card certificates. These web pages are located at https colon double slash server name slash cert srv. Go back to our web server VM. Open Microsoft Edge web browser. Let's access Certification Authority Web Enrollment Web Interface to obtain and download SAN certificate. Type URL http colon double slash srt22 hyphen ca01 slash cert srv. Hit enter key to access Certification Authority Web Enrollment Interface. Remember, here srt22 hyphen ca01 is our CA server's host name. Type administrator at msftwebcast.com as an username. Add a domain admins password and click on OK. We can see the Microsoft Active Directory Certificate Services and our CA name. Under Selected Task, click on Request a Certificate link. To submit an Advanced Certificate Request, click on Advanced Certificate Request link. Open the CSR file in Notepad and copy the content without any leading or trailing spaces. Open File Explorer. Click on Desktop. Double click on a certificate signing request file. Open it in Notepad. Copy the content without any leading or trailing spaces. 
Let me minimize this. Let me close file explorer. Now we have to paste the content of our CSR file into the saved request text box. From the certificate template drop down list, select web server as we are requesting subject alternative certificate for web service. Now click on submit to submit the request. You will receive the download link for the certificate in a moment. Click on download certificate link. Let's click on keep. The certificate is downloaded successfully. Now it's time to install the certificate. You can use the IIS manager to install the certificate that we used in the last video. But this time we are going to use the second method. Go back to MMC console from where we have created the certificate request. Right click on certificates, all task and select import. Under store location, as we can see, local machine is selected and gray out. Click next. Click on browse to look at the downloaded certificate. Click on downloads. Select the certificate and click on open. Click next. Place it under personal store. Click next and click on finish to complete the process. Wait for the success message. We get the confirmation that the import was successful. Click OK. Double click on the certificate. Go to details tab. Scroll down and click on subject alternative name. Confirm that additional DNS names are present in subject alternative name. Click OK. Now the last step is to bind the certificate to the website. Open run menu, type inet mgr and hit enter key. Click on server name, expand it, expand sites and click on default website. Under edit site, click the bindings link. You can remove the existing HTTPS binding or you can edit it. Let me remove it. Let's click on add. In the drop down list, select HTTPS. For IP address, select all assigned or the site's current IP address. We'll go with all assigned option. Keep the default HTTPS port 443 selected. If you are serving more than one domain name from the same IP address, enter it in the host name field and check the required server name indication box. If not, you can safely leave this blank. In the drop down list, select a new SSL certificate MSFT IIS SUN. You can use the view button to get details about the selected certificate. Click OK. Click OK button to close the window and save the changes. Verify that the binding has been added. Close the site bindings window by clicking the close button. RSS certificate with subject alternative name is now installed. The default website is also configured to accept secure connection using that certificate. To taste this, now go to Domain Controller VM. Open Run menu, type DNS MGMT.msc and hit Enter key to open DNS Manager. Expand server name, expand for lookup zones and click on MSFT Webcast to DNS zone. We want to add new alias record to access the web server using the different name. Right click in free area and select new alias. Type alias name which will be www in our case. So the FQDN will be www.msftwebcast.com. Now select the targeted host server's FQDN which will be srt22 have an srv02.msftwebcast.com. Click OK. Confirm that the alias record is created successfully. Open Microsoft Edge web browser. Type URL as rps colon double slash www.msftwebcast.com and hit enter key. This time, without any error, we can successfully access the website using SSL. I know this video is a little longer than the ideal, but I want to cover all the steps in these four videos so you can have a complete understanding of the different methods and steps. If possible, watch all four videos in sequence for better understanding. That's all for this video on how to obtain and install Sun certificate with Windows Server 2022 internal CA. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.